In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Ephesians 6, 1 and 2. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment in Christ. Mark 12, 13. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Matthew 18, 15. Where the two or three are gathered together in my name, I will be there in the midst of them. Luke 10, 19. You all I have given you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemies, and nothing shall by any means harm you. Galatians 5, 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Luke 10, 19. I have given you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemies, and nothing shall by any means harm you. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps his shell shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil, he shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in. From this time for an end of forevermore. Psalms uh, 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fallers and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wings He shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and bugbear. You shall not be afraid of the bear by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that falls in darkness, nor of the destruction that is placed at the day. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have seen the Lord, who is my refuge from the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any day come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you. In their hands they shall bear you up, as you may shall put against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the lora, the young lion and the serpent, you shall tread upon your foot. Because he has been stuck upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has no enemy. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and share my salvation. John 1 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 15, 3. And you are already clean because of the Word which I have spoken to you. Proverbs 1, 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but the fool describes his demand instruction. Matthew 21, 22. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believe in your Lord's peace. Romans 12, 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your only reasonable service. Psalms 139, 1 to 10. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thoughts afar off. You comprehend my thought and my lying down, and I remember you all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, we know it all together. You have fetched me behind and before I have laid your hands upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, it is sad I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and do it out the most part of the sea, even there your hands shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. Proverbs 3, 1 to 7. My son, do not forget my laws, but let your heart keep my commands. For then of days and long life and peace will back to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean up on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and you shall bear your heart. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. 
It shall be of your flesh and strength your bones. Ephesians 6, 14 to 17. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which is only able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked ones, and take the hand of salvation and the word of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Romans 8 to the 8. For everything works together for good for those who love the Lord for his purpose. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the best I have for you, declares the Lord, and to prosper you and not to harm you, thanks to give you hope in the future. Romans 10 17. By then, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Psalms 118 23 24. It is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous to our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. John 11, 35. Jesus wept. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leaves me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his sin's sake. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. You are all in yourself, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup of water. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all.